we begin our roundup of day 17 at Stade Chaban Del Mar, where Bordeaux and Saint Etienne played out a 0 0 draw on Thursday. Roman Hamuma with an early chance for Liver here. The heavy rain in Bordeaux made for a rather scrappy affair, with the game's best chance falling to Fauzi Goulam after a defensive mix up. The crossbar coming to the host's rescue. Saint Etienne coach Christophe Gaultier was nevertheless satisfied. I was keen to see how the group would react after Lyon, and I'm very satisfied with what I saw. They managed to shrug off the disappointment of Sunday's result and play the kind of good football we've been playing all season. Lyon had a chance to pull five points clear of PSG at the top of Ligue 1 on Wednesday when they faced bottom place Nancy at Gerland, but the visitors took a surprise lead through Jordan Lottias in the 74th minute. The host nevertheless managed to save a point when Michel Bastos followed up on his goal in the derby last week with an equaliser seven minutes from time. All in all, not a good day's work for Lyon who remain only three points ahead of PSG before travelling to Parc des Princes on Sunday. One all the final score. Paris Saint-Germain meanwhile claimed a second consecutive 4-0 win away to Valenciennes and thus put an end to the Northern club's invincibility at Stade du Hainaut. Zlatan Ibrahimovic broke the deadlock shortly before the half-hour mark, steering in a follow-up effort from Ezekiel Levetsi. The Swede added a second in similar circumstances just after the restart. The hosts again failing to clear their lines, Pastore following up and Ibrahimovic ideally placed to make it 2-0. Five minutes later it was 3-0 as Jeremy Menez powered forward and squared for Ibrahimovic who simply had to side foot home to wrap up his first hat-trick in Ligue 1. He's now up to 17 goals in 14 appearances. Eight minutes from time, Ezekiel Levetti turned brilliantly and set off from inside his own half. One-on-one -on -one with Penato, the Argentines slid home to round out their convincing 4-0 win. PSG sending a strong message to their rivals. Marseille drew level on points with PSG thanks to a 2-1 win away to Bastia. Machi Valbuena firing them in front with this superb volley in the 15th minute. Andre Ayou added a second from the penalty spot, 20 minutes from time. In an empty Furiani, Bastia's top goalscorer Anthony Modeste claimed a late goal to sustain hopes of a comeback for the thousands of fans outside the ground. But there was no change, and Marseille coach Eli Bope is now looking for consistency from his players. At the moment, we're winning away and losing at home. We need to be more consistent because we're struggling to win two in a row, and we're making life hard for ourselves because it means we have to chase results away from home. <laughs> Lorient took the lead at home to Sochaux thanks to this superb strike from Alain Traore, which saw them on their way to a 2-0 victory. The second goal was somewhat less glamorous, with Lamine Kone stabbing home from close range. Still, with four wins in five, Le Merlu are flying high and jump to sixth place. Montpellier didn't get off to the ideal start away to Brest, conceding this goal from Eden Bembasat in the 14th minute. But they had a helping hand getting back into the game as Suleiman Kamara fired in from close range and Joan Marcel rather bizarrely scooped the ball into his own net. After the break, Eunice Belhander played in John Attacker, who slipped home to secure a 2-1 win for the champions, who are slowly getting back on track and can hope for better after the winter break. In the second half of the season, I think we'll have different ambitions. First, we host Bastia and travel to Lille, but after the break, we'll have something different to play for, and we'll look to finish the season well. Last time around, we were the hunted. This time, we'll be the hunters. Controversy on the Côte d'Azur when Nice were awarded a penalty against Rennes in the 65th minute. Yassine Djibour was shown a straight red card even though there appeared to be minimal contact with Eric Botiak and it has in fact already been withdrawn by the Discipline Commission. Rennes down to nine men for the second time this season and Dario Kovicinic stepping up to convert from the spot. 1-0 the final score. Lille claimed a much needed win over Toulouse on Tuesday night with Marco Basher heading in a Dimitri Payet free kick in the 55th minute. Payet then added the pick of the day's goals seven minutes from time. 
A wonderful curling strike which the former Saint-Étienne man takes us through here. I had a couple of chances earlier in the game, but I hesitated or took too much time. So for the goal, I just thought, I'll stick it on my right and have a go. And in it went. And I'm glad because it helped put the game to bed. Adrian Mutu responded to his critics in fine style on Wednesday, scoring Ajaxio's first and setting up their second in a 2-0 home win over Rance. The Corsicans are now three points clear of the drop zone, while Rance, who were fifth in week eight, have plunged to 17th. In the relegation zone battle between Evian in 18th and Troyes in 19th, it was Evian who emerged victorious, thanks to a brace from veteran Cedric Barbosa. The first came from a Kevin Berigo pullback, and the second after Saber Khalifa darted forward and saw his shot blocked. 2-0, the final score. All the results from this 17th day with a total of 21 goals and plenty of 2-0 home wins. Only two draws with Leon dropping valuable points and neither Bordeaux nor Saint-Etienne able to close the gap on the leaders. Indeed, Lyon, Paris Saint-Germain and Marseille have pulled five points clear of the rest of the pack with only two points separating Saint-Etienne in fourth and Lille down in tenth. At the other end, Nancy and Troyes swap places while Socho returned to the relegation zone. Evian and Ajaxo put three points between themselves in the drop, while Montpellier are up to 11th. Toulouse drop into the bottom half for the first time since the opening day. A look ahead to the weekend's game with Rennes and Valenciennes in action on Friday. Toulouse take on Marseille on Saturday's early kickoff, while on Sunday, Saint Etienne hosts Lorient and leaders Lyon travel to face PSG in the much anticipated clash at Parc des Princes.